social media taking pictures and telling our elected officials that they need to take action and create solid climate policy there's a couple has checks that i would love you to use one of them is act now the other is our future climate strike maine and hashtag youth for justice the Green New Deal, a rapid mobilization of our workforce to create a just transition to a sustainable new economy, it is our only shot at avoiding climate catastrophe. It has the potential not only to limit global warming, but to allow us to reclaim our democracy and have a better future. Now, critics are going to complain that the Green New Deal would be too expensive. Now, putting aside for a moment that climate change would actually end up costing us more than a Green New Deal would, let's ask the more important question. What price are we willing to put on human suffering? The Sunrise Movement is an organization that is building an army of young people to take on the climate crisis and fight for a Green New Deal. They need our help. I know that it's easy to feel powerless, especially there are so many of you here who are not old enough to vote yet. You'll get there eventually, I promise. But especially considering how powerful the forces are that we're fighting against. But if we band together, we are a million times more powerful than the sum of our parts. Text the word SUNRISE to 72345. Again, that's the word sunrise to 72345, and they'll plug you into the next steps. Thank you all, you rock, for being here. And I'm here to tell you that climate change isn't going to hit us in 12 years. It's not going to hit us in five years. It's hitting us now. And there are millions of people across the world facing the consequences already. No one should have to lose their home to a fire, to a flooded river, to a typhoon, or any other natural disaster caused by climate change. We are the change. We are the change, and because of that, we need to tell our politicians, our legislators, and our president that this is our future and we need to fight for it. Because what do we want? Why are we here? What do we want? And when do we want it? Now! What do we want? that these issues this environment stuff it's important but it's also a lot bigger than just the environment and I don't want you to fight for environmental justice and renewable energy and sustainability just for the sake of the environment I wanted you to do it for yourself for your future and more importantly I need you to stand up for this for the people who don't have a voice or don't know better or don't have a platform and aren't able to speak up and talk about these issues that are affecting them even more than some of us there are a few things that jump to mind when someone says Maine. Pine trees, lighthouses, lobster, fishermen. We are a state crafted around our natural resources and are dependent on the health of our local and global climate to survive. We do not just want a transition towards a greener economy. We need one. Our local coastline is in a high risk situation already. With a uh, with a report from NASA stating, in the past three decades, the Gulf of Maine has warmed by 0 0.06 degrees Celsius per year, three times faster than the global average. We're going to reach up high. Yeah, we're reaching to the top. Here we are today at the state capitol. And we're here with our state legisla le le legislators, and we're demanding bold solutions that need to be implemented at the top. But how are we going to do that? We gotta go down to the grassroots. There we go, we're at the grassroots. We're talking to some people. What else are we gonna do? Anyone got ideas? We're gonna, we're gonna pop. I don't know, we're just, we're gonna pop. We're gonna be like, hey, we're over here and we're also over here. We're in the cross building. Now we're on the, on the steps. We're back in our communities. We're everywhere. Yes, and then we're gonna stop once we stop climate change, once climate justice becomes a thing, once we have the Green New Deal. March 15th, 1.4 million people across the world, young people, striked. They left school and demanded change, and it happened. And here in Maine, we are building the movement to do the same thing. Hundreds of us were there March 15th. We've been to our senator's offices demanding that they support a Green New Deal. We are here today demanding that our state legislature take the action that we need and be a leader in this movement. People gotta rise like the water, gonna calm this crisis down. Hear the voice of my great granddaughter, sing climate justice now. Thank you.
special guest that I probably don't really need to introduce. Two guests. First, we have Janet. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your advocacy. I look forward to working with all of you in this incredibly important issue. Now, I have a special guest. Our distinguished member of Congress, Shelly Pingree. I was a very early and proud co-sponsor of the Green New Deal. Thank you, Congresswoman, Congresswoman Pingree. Uh, my favorite sign. There is no planet B. 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 Thank you so much to our wonderful guests. And thank you to everyone who's been standing out here in the club. Some demands that we've come up with and some asks that are really important. So the first one is we the youth of Maine demand that legislators, corporate leaders, and all of the people in positions of power commit to taking the necessary action to mitigate and adapt to climate change on the time scale that science and justice require. We demand that legislators in this state publicly recognize that climate change is an issue that is currently happening and exacerbating existing inequalities, both globally and locally. We demand that legislators listen to and lift up marginalized and youth voices in the decision-making process, especially where the future is concerned. We demand comprehensive climate education in our schools. We demand a Green New Deal that prioritizes climate, social, racial, and economic justice, includes enforcement mechanisms, and paves the way to a sustainable society. We demand a just transition to 100% renewable energy by 2030. You guys all like those demands? Yeah. Follow, yeah. follow Maine Youth for Climate Justice on Facebook, at Maine Youth for Climate Justice on Instagram, and at MYCJ underscore Coalition on Twitter. Taking the steps to come here is taking action. Taking the steps in your schools, in your communities, on an individual level, this is what our country needs right now. This is what is happening all around the world. Thank you so much and have an amazing afternoon. Yeah.